Spoiler alert. This report details a specific prank in the new movie Borat 2, which streams Friday. Stop reading now if you don't want to know. The Borat sequel hasn't come out yet, but it's already making waves on social media for a controversial scene involving a prominent political figure. Near the end of the new Borat film, which streams Friday on Amazon Prime, Rudy Giuliani, lawyer to President Donald Trump and the former mayor of New York City, is caught in a questionable situation on camera with an actress. I've seen the Giuliani moment in Borat too. It's even wilder than it sounds. Beyond cringe, said Maureen Dowd on Twitter Wednesday. In the scene, Giuliani, 76, attends an interview in a hotel suite with actress Maria Bakalova, 24, who plays star Sasha Baron Cohen's on-screen 15-year-old daughter Tutar. When Tutar and Giuliani go into a bedroom to have a drink, the lawyer asks for her name and address and the camera captures Bakalova reaching into Giuliani's shirt to retrieve his microphone as he gives her a pat on the back. When Bakalova turns away, Giuliani lies down on the bed and appears to reach into his pants, perhaps to tuck in his shirt. When Baron Cohen, as Borat, bursts into the room, Giuliani called implications of any impropriety in the scene a complete fabrication in a series of tweets Wednesday. I was tucking in my shirt after taking off the recording equipment, he continued. At no time before, during or after the interview was I ever inappropriate. If Sasha Baron Cohen implies otherwise he is a stone, cold liar. The lawyer added that he called the police. As soon as he realized the situation was a set, up, which is described in a July article from The Hollywood Reporter. The scene has caused quite an uproar on Twitter, where celebrities and other media figures are reacting to the prank. Well, looks like the cat's out of the pants, tweeted Frozen star Josh Gad. Having seen Borat 2 I can now safely tell you Rudy Giuliani is over in a very big way. It's worse than you think and more uncomfortable than anything I've seen in a recent film, documentary or otherwise. Director Judd Apatow retweeted Gad and added, I saw it. I wish I could unsee it. But Borat 2 is hilarious. The View host Megan McCain also replied to Gad's tweet. Why is everything so disgusting? She wrote, adding, I don't want to watch anything that's going to make me vomit. Demi Lovato responded to Giuliani's statement on Twitter with a tweet of her own. So you normally drink with reporters, follow them to the bedroom and then lie on the bed and let her take off your mic for you. She wrote, I guess I've been doing my interviews all wrong. To all the boys I've loved before star Noah Centineo simply tweeted, Borat's marketing for this sequel is out of this world. Oh, Rudy, no, tweeted Star Trek actor George Takei. Former professional basketball player Rex Chapman tweeted a slightly blurry screen grab from the film. The photo appears to show Giuliani lying down on a bed as a blonde woman in a light blue dress stands near him. Here's Rudy Giuliani, the personal attorney to the President of the United States, he wrote. A still picture of Rudy from the Borat movie coming out on Friday. Can't wait. New Borat 2 pranks Trump's lawyer Rudy Giuliani an eyebrow. Raising Situation Yashar Ali, a journalist who has contributed to New York Magazine and the Huffington Post, teased his reaction on Twitter as well. I just watched the Borat slash Giuliani scene, he wrote. My God. Robbie Soave, senior editor at the Libertarian Magazine Reason, compared Twitter's treatment of the Giuliani story with its treatment of the New York Post's controversial report on Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden's son Hunter. Will Twitter block access to the Borat? Giuliani story, which contains personal information obtained in an underhanded way and without Giuliani's permission. So Ave tweeted. Scott Dworkin, who is the co-founder of the Democratic Coalition, praised Baron Cohen for the Giuliani stunt on Twitter. Sasha Baron Cohen deserves the Nobel Prize for his Borat Rudy Giuliani takedown, he wrote. Comedian Dana Goldberg tweeted, Borat just took down Giuliani. Comedians are doing the Lord's work. Review. Sasha Baron Cohen silly, scattershot Borat 2 takes aim at Trump, COVID contributing, Brian Truitt, USA Today.